नमस्कार टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट ईच एंड एवरीथिंग दैट इज रिलेटेड टू फ्लोट टाइलिंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स टॉक अबाउट नेसेसरी इंग्रेडिएंट्स एंड इक्विपमेंट्स सीमेंट सैंड टाइल एडहेसिव टाइल्स एपॉक्सी ग्राउट सिलिकॉन सीलर फर्स्ट सेफ्टी हैंड ग्लव्स सेफ्टी गॉगल्स इंडस्ट्रियल सेफ्टी हेलमेट 8 एम एम नॉट ट्रावल गॉजिंग ट्रावल डायमंड कटर टाइल मोटर मिक्सर टाइल स्पेसर्स मैनुअल टाइल कटर रबर मैलेट एंड टॉपीडो लेवलर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सेफ्टी नाउ वी आर रेडी विथ ऑल द पी पी ई किट्स बिफोर गेटिंग स्टार्टेड विद द टाइलिंग वर्क कीप सम पॉइंट इन माइंड लाइक always keep the tiles above the ground at a height like on a wooden base or a pallet keep the cement on a dry place keep the tiles of kitchen room and bathroom segregated according to their designs so that it's easy to handle so now we have everything for floor tiling hence we will talk about preparation before using the tiles first of all keep the pattern drawing of the tiles in your hand There's a batch number in each and every Orion Belt tiles box. Use only one batch of tiles for a particular room. This way the tiles will look identical. Before cutting the tiles, do proper markings and then cut the tiles of the proper size. To cut the tiles precisely, use the perfect equipments and then carefully proceed like this. If there is a need to make a hole on the tile then make sure to use the drill bit of the perfect radius We will fit floor tiles with the help of cement At first clean the floor with a wire brush or a broom to clean up the unwanted dust and dirt wax or oils and if needed make the concrete rough by hacking The area where tiles will be fitted has to be of the same level. If the surface have holes, then fill it. Before fitting the tiles, make the concrete wet with adequate water. Keep in mind that the floor remains wet for at least 24 hours. This way the floor doesn't soak water from the cement mixture. Before laying the cement mixture, if some portion of the floor gets dry, then apply water again to make it wet. At some places if the water is too much then soak the additional water with a dry sponge For tiling the surface needs to maintain a uniform level that's why level pads are installed It's used to obtain a measurement of the variation of levels before fitting the floor tiles According to the design the given distance from the floor to wall is 800 mm Now at this level as the shown process we will put a mark at different places of the room at every places the distance from the level pads to the markings should be 800 mm now all the markings will get connected through the line thread the distance from the level pads to the markings should be 800 mm The distance between one level pad to another should be less than the length of a straight edge. To perfectly level the entire floor, we will install level pads at different places all over the room. Now we know at which height we should install the tiles. So it's time to prepare the cement mixture. First of all, filter the sand to separate the impurities now mix the filtered sand and the cement we will prepare the cement mixture at a ratio of 6 is to 1 means one bucket of cement for six buckets of sand Use clean trays to carry the cement mixture. 
prepare only that much of quantity which will last for near about one hour. Now pour the cement mixture at one portion of the floor and level it in between the level pads with a straight edge. The overall thickness of the cement mixture layer should range between 20 to 30 millimeters. Press the mixture well to make it firm. Lay the cement mixture only on that much of the portion where tiles can be installed before it gets dry. Verify the level with the help of the level markings on the walls. After leveling of the entire floor, cross-check it with the spirit level. All the preparations of tiling are complete now. The place is also ready for tiling. Next, we will show how to install the floor tiles. Now we will install the tiles according to this drawing. Now we will measure 1200 mm from the wall and mark it as a parallel line. This marking will be on the floor. We will use line thread for marking. After that, from the front wall, we will mark lines measuring 600 mm with the line thread. At the corner of the first line, we will mark at 300 mm as shown in the video. On the opposite side of the corner, mark at 400 mm on the other line. Between these two lines, there should be an angle of 90 degrees. To cross-check it, measure the corner of the two points. It should measure 500 mm. The very first line from the wall is at 600 mm or the measurement of a tile. So that, matching the edges of the tile, we can obtain the first markings. We are flooring with 600 by 1200 mm vitrified tiles. Before installing the tiles, draw grooves on the cement mixture by a trowel. The grooves should be equally made in both the directions. Now it's time to pour the thick liquid cement on the prepared floor. Pour the cement liquid in only the area of one tile. Be careful about the arrow direction on the back side of each tile. All will be in the same direction. We will install the very first tile according to the plan. The edges of it should be according to the layout. After that, with a rubber mallet, we will strike all over the tile to release any air underneath and will firmly fix it on the floor. Careful, this work should only be done with a rubber mallet. Judge the alignment of the installed tile with a spirit level. After installing the first tile, verify the level with the help of wall marking. Install the second tile by matching the level of the first one. Every time after installing a tile, use spacers in between the joints. It helps to maintain a uniform spacing between all the tiles. Here we are using spacers of 3 mm. Don't forget to wipe up all the dirt and cement leftovers of the tile by the help of a dry cloth or a wet sponge. Be quick, otherwise it would be hard to remove. While tiling, at times, judge the level of the tiles with a spirit level. It's very important. After installing all the tiles, clean them all and leave them for at least 24 hours. By this time, ensure that there is no weight on the tile anywhere. Cover the tiles on the floor. Now we have to install the skirts at the floor edges. According to the width of the skirting, measure the tiles to cut them. Here we are cutting tiles according to 75 mm width. Also clean and make the skirting area wet. Then apply the cement mixture on the skirting and fix it. 
after installing the tile, measure the angle between them with a tri-square. It should be 90 degrees. Keep on checking the alignment between the floor and the skirting. Install spacers in between the tile joints and keep in mind that the joints of the floor tiles and the skirting should match. By this way, install the rest of the skirting tiles. Now we have to fill up the tile joints. And for this, epoxy grout and white cement are used. Before filling up the grouts, take out the spacers and fill it likewise. Add water to the grout to achieve a thick paste. According to the shown method, fill up the joints with the steel scraper. Ensure that the joints are completely filled up with the mixture. Thirty to forty-five minutes after completion of the grouting, clean the joints with water and a scrubber. Also, after twenty-four hours. Clean the tile joints with soap water and then with a dry cloth. After completion of the work, apply the protective cover on the tiles. We just saw how to do vitrified tiling with the help of cement. Apart from this are different processes with the help of tile adhesive. So well, let us know about it also. It's a factory made special mixture to fix the tiles. It's available in the market in the form of powder. It's used to fix the tile very easily by mixing it with water or latex to achieve a thick paste. Here also we will do cleaning and hacking of the floor, followed by marking and leveling as the previous method. According to the instruction, mix water or latex to prepare the adhesive paste. Keep it on a clean tray and apply it on a clean floor according to the markings. Make groups on the applied adhesive on the floor like this. The back side of the tile should be cleaned while applying the tile adhesive. Also on the back side of the tile, make grooves like this after applying adhesive. Keep it in mind that the grooves should be horizontal on the floor and vertical on the tiles. Keep in mind the direction of the arrows and install all the tiles. After that with a rubber mallet, strike the tile everywhere to fix it firmly. Also check the levels and the alignments. By following these instructions, keep on installing the tiles. Always take care of the spacers. One important thing. During renovation, sometimes we have to install tiles on such floors which already has tiles or marbles on it. In those cases, we must use the tile adhesive. According to the instruction, mix water or latex to prepare the adhesive paste. Keep the mixture on a clean tray. Then apply the tile adhesive on the clean marble or the tile floor according to the markings.
while applying the tile adhesive on the back side of the tile, it should be cleaned. Make grooves on the floor tile adhesive like this. Taking care of the direction of the arrows, install all the tiles. Now strike the tile everywhere with a rubber mallet to fix it firmly. Likewise, install all the remaining tiles according to the line. Keep on checking the levels and the alignments. Again, the spaces are very important. I hope you have got all the right information regarding flow tiling. Now we will talk about do's and don'ts of flow tiling. Keep the tiles in separate places according to their batches. Keep only one batch of tile in one room. Tiles are like glasses, so breaking is normal. Use the broken tiles as cut pieces. Before installing a tile, search for any cracks or broken edges. Do tiling according to plan. Prepare the concrete floor well before starting with the tiling. 24 hours before tiling, make the floor wet with water. Before fixing, take care of the direction of the arrow on the back side. Measure multiple times before fixing the first tile. Always use the spacers. Use the adhesive paste according to the manufacturer's instruction. While applying epoxy grout, keep on cleaning the tiles. After completion of the work, protect the floor tiling for at least 24 hours. Always use the protective gears. So we really hope by the help of this video, you have understood each and every procedures of flow tiling very well. So on behalf of the Orient Bell family, we are expecting you to decorate your floor with Orient Bell tiles. Namaskar.